everyone. Uh, this is going to be another very short video where we are walking through the muscles that you need to know for the leg in Bio 137. Now, when I go through these, keep in mind I'm only going through the names for identification purposes, and you will need to know all of the functions, but I won't be going over those because those are listed in your Bio 137 lab manual. So just to kind of orient you what we're looking at here, um, this is uh, what we would commonly call the butt cheek. So this is the back of the leg down here at the bottom. Uh, this toe that we see at the top, this would be the big toe or the great toe. And here is the top of the foot. So this is the outside of the lower leg. And then over here on the other side, down here, again, this is the big toe or the great toe. So this is the inside of the foot, the inside of the lower leg, and the inner thigh area. So with that orientation, let's go through and see which of these muscles you need to know for Bio 137 lab. Starting up here at the top on the left, this large muscle on the back top of the leg, the butt cheek area. This is the gluteus maximus. Coming down the side of the thigh on the outside, this is the biceps femoris. On the front of the thigh, this large muscle here is the vastus lateralis, lateral because it's on the lateral portion of the leg, the outside of the leg. We can see a little bit of the rectus femoris. We'll see it again here in just a moment. Now I'm down in the lower leg, the back, what we often just call the calf muscle. This is called the gastrocnemius. Here with the white area kind of at the bottom, this has two names. You could call it either the fibularis longus, which is the name that I prefer because it's running along the fibula, but the other name is the peroneus longus. Either of those names will work, fibularis longus or peroneus longus. Here a little bit, we can see this very, very front muscle that runs down what we would call the shin. This is called the tibialis anterior. It's on the anterior portion of the lower leg, uh, partially covering the tibia. So that's easy to remember, the tibialis anterior. Now let's look at the other side of the leg, the medial side of the leg or the inner side of the leg. We can see again this muscle right here, the butt cheek area, the gluteus maximus. This muscle right here, right in the middle, is called the gracilis, gracilis. This muscle that kind of wraps around from the knee area around the front of the thigh is called the sartorius. Here running underneath the sartorius, right next to the gracilis, this is called the adductor longus, adductor longus. Here we can see again the rectus femoris muscle. We see another vastus, but this time on the medial side of the leg. So this is the vastus medialis. Now when you tense your upper thigh right above your knee, you can often see or feel two very strong muscles. And that is this, the vastus medialis and this vastus lateralis that we saw on the other view. We also see the gastrocnemius on this side of the thigh, on the, sorry, on this side of the lower leg. And there is one more muscle that is not listed in this image of your lab manual. It is on the muscle man. You'll see that when you watch the muscle man video, but it is a good idea to go ahead and learn it on the leg because sometimes we do ask this on lab exams. This area right up here at the very top of the thigh is called the tensor 
fascia lati. Tensor fascia lati is this muscle right here. Now, the way that I kind of remember that is the word lati kind of looks like latte. When you see it written, it looks like latte. And when I think about latte, I think about coffee with a lot of milk in it. So it's got kind of a creamy color and it blends in with this area right here, which on the model has kind of a creamy color. So again, this muscle is not listed in your lab manual. You are responsible for knowing it on the muscle man and the leg, the tensor fascia lati. All right, don't forget, make sure to learn the muscle functions. Don't just say moves foot, moves leg. You have to be specific, adduct, abduct, flex, extend. Be very specific with those naming schemes when you're talking about functions. All right, let me know if you have any questions.